Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. Today is going to be really special because for those of you who ask me to create a no makeup makeup look that actually looks like you're not wearing makeup, this video is for you. The skin turns out luscious and dewy and expensive looking and we love all of those things. So without further ado, if you want to learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm using the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum to prep our model's skin with. This is an interesting formula here because it's something you can use not just underneath your makeup, but also on top of your makeup. It gives a really pretty, realistic glow to the skin. It does come in two different shades. The one I'm using here today is called Main Squeeze, and it has... Uh, like this champagne gold undertone to it. But even as I blend and work this into the skin, you can see it doesn't shift her skin tone, which is really important. It just adds that radiance and luminosity to the skin, that, um, you know, that glass-like effect <laughs> that I'm looking to keep consistent throughout this whole tutorial. I'll even bring this glow down to the neck, chest, and shoulders as well. Next up, I'm using the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation in the shade R208 and applying this on with a makeup sponge. Now you can see there's clearly coverage here with this foundation. It's very light coverage, but you know there is coverage nonetheless. And I say this because you're gonna see me blend and blend and blend this product in. And by the time I'm done, it's gonna look like skin. I'm zooming in quite a bit here because I want you to see every little detail. When I say this is gonna look like skin, I don't mean it's it's gonna look like lightweight makeup or a sheer skin tint. No, 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 no. It's actually going to look like skin. And that comes down to two things, the product you use and how you use it. I'm using this Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation, not only because it's light in coverage, but also because it looks and feels like skincare. It just melts into the skin. And then as for the application, I'm continuing to blend and blend this in because I want it to become one with the skin. I don't want it to just sit on top of the skin. So by continuing to go over everything a few times, the sponge is picking up any excess product that's not needed. And even as I add other products to this look throughout this tutorial, you'll see me come back to the sponge to blend over everything again. Again. For concealer, I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush. <laughs> this is that's tricky to say. It's the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. There we go. And this is in the shade Cream. And I'm lightly applying this to the under eye area, along with a few little extra, you know, spots I want to conceal around the face before I begin blending this in. This is a fuller coverage concealer, so I do want to be careful with how much I apply, knowing that I can always add more if, if I want to. But I chose this one today because. Well, I, I've been wanting to try it out. I've heard a lot of good things about this concealer. Um, a lot of people love it, and I do think it's nice. I, I just need to I need to play around with it a little bit more, and I don't know, try it out on different skin types. But I will say I like the finish of it. Like it, it's not too matte, it's not too glowy. It has a nice natural finish, which I think looks flattering. Now that we have this concealer blended, I'm using the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in the shade Light and applying this to the areas of the face I want to add a little bit more warmth to. This formula is a balm, so it's similar to a cream in terms of how it can blend out, so I'm lightly applying it on with a brush. And then you'll see me head back to the sponge to blend over everything. If you're going for a fuller coverage look, I do prefer their soft sculpt shaping stick, but this product I'm using is perfect for the vibe we're going for today. It's not about contouring and you know highlighting and all that, which you know I love, but today is simply about looking like yourself, but on your best skin day. When you've been on top of your skincare game, you've been eating healthy, getting your sleep, you know, just 
looking refreshed. And that's a look that anyone can wear, regardless of your bone structure, regardless of your age or anything you know, like that. We all feel amazing when we look our best, however we may interpret that. So for many people, including myself some days, that's just looking natural and fresh faced. So that's what we're going for. Moving right along, I'm using this cream blush wheel from Ben Eye and mixing a couple shades together on the back of my hand before pressing it onto the apples of her cheeks with my makeup sponge. I'm going in with a real light hand here because I don't want it to be overly opaque to you know a point where it doesn't look realistic. You know what I'm saying? I, I want this to add a natural hint of color to her cheeks and across her nose to mimic that rosy sun-kissed tone. And because this is a cream formula, it'll blend out beautifully with the other complexion products we used. This can even be used as a lipstick. So you'll see me here in a moment, take whatever I have left and apply just a smidge to the center of the lips. Once I have this blush applied, I'm using this Kosas Cloud Set Powder in the shade Breezy. I'll take a quick second to blend out any concealer that may have creased underneath the eye before I lightly apply this powder to set the concealer into place. I think of all the steps in today's tutorial, this really is the most important. And the reason I say that is because using a powder can transform this look for the better or <laughs> or for the worst. I, I promise I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm just keeping it real with this one because with, with this no makeup makeup kind of look, it's all about how you use the powder and where you use it. If we're trying to create that illusion of not wearing any makeup, we're going to want the skin to have that, you know, at least some shine to it. Our skin naturally has that. It's not something to be afraid of, but there are areas that I do recommend to most people using powder. It doesn't have to be a lot of powder, but those areas usually include the under eyes, around the nose, uh, around the mouth, and maybe a little in the center of the forehead. So basically in the T-zone area. By mattifying these areas, we're, we're taking this from looking greasy and you know possibly sweaty <laughs> to looking fresh and glowy because there is a difference between the two. If I keep everything too glowy, it's overwhelming and it gives the appearance that she just ran a mile at the gym. And if I mattify everything, it reads flat and unnatural. So by playing around with the finish of the skin in different zones of her face, we're creating an illusion. And by the way, real quick, you're seeing me use a, a powder puff here. I'm not applying any product on with this. In fact, I'm kind of doing the opposite. I'm using the fabric of this puff to pick up any excess product and oils, which is a little trick to help bring down shine without having to apply on more and more product. I'm really happy with how this is looking, so I'm next gonna use the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel to style her brow hairs into place for a polished and clean look. Of course, you can fill in your brows a bit if you'd like, but our model, Autumn, already has some beautiful brows to work with for this look. Even after this look, I filmed another tutorial with her. I'll, I'll put a little snippet here so you can see what I'm talking about. I showed how I took this natural look that we're creating today and built on top of it for a more dramatic style of glam. But even for that look I just showed, I didn't add on any brow product. This gel held up throughout everything and gave me exactly what I was looking for, for both looks. I'll post that tutorial within the next week or so. And if you're watching this video after the fact, I'll put that link down below if you wanna watch it. <laughs> All right, moving right along, the brows are done. So I'm heading over to this House Labs PhD Hybrid Lip Oil in the shade Tint and applying this right on. I've been loving their lip oils, specifically the shade Hue. That's the shade I use on myself. They also have a few other shades to choose from, but they're great because they hydrate the lips while also adding that beautiful shine and hint of color. And as the finishing touch here, I, I am noticing that a bit of the concealer we had used on the eyelids earlier on is creasing a little bit. So I'm blending it out real quick and applying some of our powder to set it into place, which makes this the last step in how I created this no makeup makeup look on our naturally beautiful model. And 
there we have it kids. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.